You are hurting yourself by holding grudge against that tribe. Ihuama reactions to Reno's tweet. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot GC news update, please click on the notification bell. Twitter user Ihuama responded to a tweet by Reno by responded to a tweet by social media influencer Reno Mokro regarding the severity of crimes Nigerians are suspected of perpetrating in Ethiopia by claiming that the Mokri's hate for a certain ethnic group would serve him good but pains. Reno did not name any particular tribe in his tweet, pleading with the Nigerian government to intervene, and Ihoma responded as follows. You are hurting yourself more than the people of Atra by holding a grudge against them. Forgive and move on so that God can use you as a pastor. In addition, she said that the Bible wants the sins committed by one generation but visited on to subsequent generation. Rano was interested about her response, so he gave her this one. The hatred you have for this particular tribe. Okay, Rano Mokri's, her reaction to Rano Mokri's post with thus. The hatred you have for this particular tribe is causing more pains than good. Ogareno, Homokri, you need to heal and move on and allow God to use you as a pastor that you called yourself. Let me remind you again, the Bible said that the sins of the father shall be visited upon the children to the third generations. You know what that means, Shalom. In reaction, Reno's reply to her goes thus. I appreciate, dear Ihoma, I appreciate your thoughtful feedback. More than 70 times I've visited Ethiopia and I've been inside several of their jails and prison. My shot was taken there as well. The number of Nigerians accused of committing crimes is frightening and I detailed it in my article. So my voice concerned that a certain geographical region accounts for a disproportionate share of drug and fraud-related criminals. He also added that the zone was not mentioned by me. But I urged the government of Nigeria to step in and offer aid and consular support. So exactly where did I go wrong? No hate here, apparently. What makes you think I'm referring to a certain region? How come the northern and southwestern listeners haven't figured out I'm talking about them? Do you want me to mis do you want to mis misinterpret a white object as a black one? Nothing special about Ethiopia. I recently traveled to Cambodia, Thailand, and Peru, so the same situation in each. Prison population in one region of Nigeria are disproportionately impacted by narcotics and fraud offenses. I helped them out at the time. I made an appeal to the government of Nigeria in the column I was writing. Adding to it, he said, Our passport, our passport lose what? Thus, we are all affected. You submit your green passport and immigration and the look on their face says it all. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. My lovely Roma, so says the Bible. It is possible that other countries like Ghana will follow the previous lead and impose a visa instruction on Nigeria if nothing is done to address cultural factors that encourage an unhealthy preoccupation with wealth among Nigerians. God bless you, Ihoma. Thank you once again. It is preferable that everyone recognizing the perspective from which someone is speaking before responding to them. Uh, Amo, so, they did not even give us um, what he actually said. First of all, the main tweet will bring about the reply for Ihoma. They don't tell us. But I know it is, you know, he said, um, drug related and fraud related and he was talking about a particular tribe but he did not call the name of that particular tribe Shubon, he did not call the name <laughs> but um because we all know that there's a particular tribe that is always called hmm? and uh if we are coming out to you know to step in that you no, know, this is looking like um, stereotyping, or should I call it prejudice? I think prejudice is going to be fine. It looks like stereotyping. That is why she replied like that. But if you ask me, oh, if you ask me, crime is crime. Shubon, crime is crime no matter where it is being done. Crime is crime no matter what is being done. Now, let me tell you. It all begins from you. The thing is, immediately you as a person come out to say, I must do this thing, no matter what it takes. Do you know what you do? You are being very selfish. 
Now, let's say you travel out of a country and you are looking for means of, you know, bettering yourself. And in a better, even if it is any the better living, whatever the case may be, make sure that you have it in mind that your actions will do what? Will splash on the other person. Be the person that corrects the situation of wherever you're coming from. Be the person that somebody will ask you, you mean you're black and you behave like this? And you're like, yes, you mean, you know, people around you will have this, of course, they're going to have this already built up image of how you're going to act. But you come in and you melt everything away with the way you act, with the way you do things, with the way you talk. Dare to be different. And just by doing that, it, they might still have that, but you might still be looking for, no, this person will bring out in true color, color in the pretend. Let it be that they will keep, keep waiting for that, your, you know, the already painted image of you. I'm appealing to us. Because I keep saying, within Nigeria, if things like this happen, what they do is, the prejudice, you know, that particular region, they go come the prejudice and nobody these people. If it is like, say, let me just say, for instance, now the south is, you will say, oh, these I poor people. You just, you know, whether the person, whether they follow you, they talk, you support them, you don't support them. You immediately, the nyamiris, they're not able to say the nyamiris. You don't understand. Within it is tribalism, but outside, as a Nigerian, they will look us as Nigerians. You cannot turn away from it. One Nigerian commits crime, the next Nigeria will come. You don't make life difficult already for that person. Now, waiting, we no understand. I am speaking from the view of crime is crime. And I'm also speaking from the view of the thing with the lady for the other since they don't call anybody. Come outside. This thing, crime, no good anywhere. You no good. But me, yo, I won't ask question. Ogareno, how we use this show, say those people really commit those crimes? Because, like I said, as a Nigerian, they only have a painted or a tainted image. How about you? How we go use, no, say, these people, they're not just, you know, carry them go prison on hearsay. Do you understand what I'm talking about, what I'm, where I'm coming from? Because they, these people already have a painted or tainted image about you. And then they carry you go prison. Nobody is there to fight for you. Your own is completely finished. So it, 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 sometimes it will be say, yes, this person committed a crime. Or not just say, they set them up. Make them they watch you. The thing is, they already have this painted image. Just like we have a sitting president that <laughs> if you enter there, then go see. <laughs> it's worse that, oh, this person with them put there. It is going to affect all of us. In essence, instead of looking at the message from one angle, look at this message from every perspective. This thing will affect you. If you travel out to it will affect you, whether you like it or not. Look, look at Ethiopia. They don't allow Nigeria to enter. Why? Because of the kind of crime where they believe say Nigeria. They, them now, they don't care that there are actually some people who are not like that. I don't to dwell on this matter. It could be another time. Okay, on those notes, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.